get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, Halloween is upon us, and we got some fun things to do today. We got a couple of spooky songs. We got something new to listen to and a fun activity at the end. So you know what? Enough talking. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey, first grade. Guys, there is a holiday coming up. Halloween! Happy Halloween to all of you. You know, I got a brand new song for you. It has a game with it. It's about a Halloween character. Think of all the great Halloween characters out there. There's Frankenstein. Know him pretty well because, well, my last name. There's a mummy. There's a ghost. But no, no, no. I'm thinking about a witch. Mm -hmm. I have a song about a witch, but don't be too scared because this witch is, well, she's not really that scary. She's actually just a little bit confused. This song is called Old Mother Witch. Let me sing it for you. Old Mother Witch couldn't sew a stitch. Picked up a penny and thought she was rich. If you have a penny, are you rich? Well, probably not, but Old Mother Witch thinks she is. Listen, I'll sing it, you echo back. Old Mother Witch Couldn't sew a stitch Picked up a penny and thought she was rich. Try it again, listen. Old Mother Witch Couldn't sew a stitch Picked up a penny and thought she was rich Good, let's try the whole song, here we go. Old Mother Witch Couldn't sew a stitch Picked up a penny and thought she was rich. To play this game, it's actually a really fun game you can play. You're going to need, first of all, a penny. So look around, dig through your couch cushions, find a penny, okay? You're also going to need a couple of people to play with. If you have at least three other people, you and three other people, it's the best way to play this game. So maybe your mom and your dad, maybe your grandma and your grandpa, brothers and sisters, get them all, and here's how the game is played. Everyone stands in a circle, and everyone closes their eyes, except... For you. You are in the middle and you've got the penny. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sing the song. Old Mother Witch couldn't sew a stitch, picked up a penny and thought she was rich. By the end of the song, you're gonna give that penny to somebody in the circle. Everyone's gonna keep their eyes closed except for the person who gets the penny. They're gonna come into the middle of the circle and they're going to wake everybody up with a really great witch laugh. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. I can't do the best witch life, but maybe you can do a better one. And then everyone wakes up and you play again. Everyone gets a chance at that penny. Everyone gets a chance to do a very spooky witch laugh and everyone gets to have a little bit of fun. So have some fun making some music and have some fun this Halloween. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, first grade, let's head back out to the playground because it is time for our song, Seesaw Up and Down in the air and on the ground. Can we sing it together? Here we go. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Good. Can you see it and keep a steady beat? Keep it with me this time. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Good. Hey, how about, you know what? Imagination time. Grab those handlebars. Let's get on the seesaw. Okay, we got work. Our body's a little bit here. Here we go. We can be up or we can be down. So you can stand or you can squat. So you can do it with me. Here we go. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Sort of moving our body to that steady beat while we're singing it. Oh, I have a picture here too of our seesaws. Take a look at our seesaws. Can you point along with me? Here we go. Seesaw up and down. Good. This time, don't sing on the words. How about we just sing it on Lou? Lou, 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 Lou. Good. You know, hmm. I have a couple questions. 
I have a couple questions. I'd like to see if you have really good listening ears. You can answer these questions for me. The first question is this. How many beats do we keep in the first part of this song? Listen carefully. Lou, 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 Lou. How many beats did I keep? Keep a beat with me. Lou, 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 Lou. Four beats, exactly. I kept four beats in that first part of the song. Now, listen to just the first two beats. Listen carefully. Lou, Lou. Hmm. You know, I'm, I'm singing a melody over those two beats. Lou, Lou. Hmm. Does anyone know how many different pitches I'm singing over those first two beats? Lou, Lou. Two. Right, I'm singing two different pitches. Exactly right, okay. I'm singing two different pitches. How, hmm. How would you describe those two different pitches? Lou, Lou. What words could you use to describe those two different pitches? Because they don't sound the same. They, they sound different. But how do they sound different? What do they sound like? What could we say for the first one? What could we say for the second one? Lou, Lou. Lou, Lou. Hmm. How about, yeah. It sounds like that first pitch that we sing is high. And it sounds like the second pitch that we sing is actually low. It's the opposite, right? We have a high and a low pitch. You know what? The rest of the song here actually has high and low pitches too. Listen. High, low, Lou, Lou, Lou. Can you figure it out? High, low, high, high, low. Exactly. We have a high and a low pitch in this song. Now, Here's a tricky question. Our high and our low pitch, are they a step apart like this? High, low. Does that sound right? Well, that sounds like it's too close. Okay, well, are they a skip apart like this, a little further apart? High, low. Yeah, our high and low pitches are not right next door. They're not right next to each other. They're actually a skip apart from each other. Okay, so in music, we're hearing different pitches. We're hearing a high pitch and a low pitch. Let's see if we can sing it. And yeah, let's see if we can actually point while we sing, too. Watch. High, low, high, high, low. Good. This time, don't sing. Just point, but think it in your head. Ready? Great job. Guys, next week we're going to come back with a few more activities for our song Seesaw, so stay tuned. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Oh, sorry. I was caught me listening to the Surprise Symphony again. I can't get enough of that. Piece of music by Haydn. Oh, I love that Surprise Symphony. You know, there's a lot of music out there. A lot of music, not just the Surprise Symphony. We talked about Haydn. He wrote some other pieces of music, too. I want to describe to you a piece of music. I want to see if you can tell me who you think the composer of this piece of music was. It's a symphony. It's kind of like the Surprise Symphony. It's for all the instruments. However, it's for a couple of other instruments, too. In fact, they're not even really instruments. There's a part in this symphony... It's for toys. It's kind of unusual. Toys like rattles and whistles and little drums and a bird caller. Almost sounds like a trick. Almost sounds like a like a little joke type of thing. Who who do you think would compose a symphony that had toys in it? Who do you think? Well, you probably think Haydn, right? Because he was the trickster. He liked to put tricks and jokes in his music and. Sounds like the toy symphony I'm describing to you would fit that bill pretty well. And you know what? For a long time, people thought Haydn wrote the toy symphony. But the toy symphony is interesting because nobody ever put their name on it. You know when you do work and the teacher always says, put your name on that work? You know why they do that? Because they want to know that you did it. Well, nobody wrote their name 
on the Toy Symphony. They wrote it, but the name wasn't on there. So nobody knew who wrote the Toy Symphony. For a long time, people just assumed, hey, I, this has to be Haydn. It's a symphony and there's toys in it. Well, mm -mm. it was not Haydn. It actually turns out it was another composer. His name was Leopold Mozart. Leopold Mozart lived right around the same time as Haydn. He was composing right around the same time as Haydn. So people, of course, thought that this piece of music was written by Haydn, but it was actually written by another composer, a different composer named Leopold Mozart. This symphony, the Toy Symphony, is actually very, very fun. I have a video for you that you can watch. I have it down in the description below of the Toy Symphony. I want you to watch it because it's kind of interesting to see the real musical instruments and the toys and how they kind of work together to make one sound. So take a listen to the Toy Symphony by Leopold Mozart, not by Haydn and enjoy. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Okay, first grade. Now, we are going to use our brains in a little different way today. We've been writing a lot of notes recently. We've been writing quarter notes. And eighth notes, ta's and toddies. But today I want to make sure that we're not writing. Today I want to make sure that we are creating in our brain. So I'm going to come up with a pattern. Four beats long. I'm just going to come up with one. Here's one. Uh, this is a pretty familiar one. Ta, ta, ta di ta. Can you come up with a different one? Can you come up with a different pattern? It could be one that you know. It could be one that we've done before. But the one I'm going to do is ta, ta, ta. Ta di ta. Four beats long. Ta di on the third beat, the rest are tops. Can you come up with a different pattern? Let's try this. I'm going to speak mine, then I want you to speak yours. Okay? So I'll speak one, I'll speak mine. Ta, ta, ta di ta. And then you speak a different one back to me. Here we go. Ready? Ta, ta, ta di ta. Did you do a different one? Was it the same as mine? If it was, mm -mm, make a different one. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one. I'll do the same one. I, that's mine. I'm sticking to that pattern. I like that pattern. You come up with a different one again. Okay, completely different. Maybe start with the toddy this time, or maybe start with the ta. Here we go. Ta, ta, ta di ta. Come up with a different one? It's good to come up with patterns in your head. It's good to maybe think of some different patterns that maybe you wouldn't normally use. Okay. Let's try another one. Make up a different pattern again. I always come up with different patterns. I'll do the same one though. I'm sticking with mine. That's mine. Here we go. Ta, ta, ta di ta. You know, it's almost like we're having a musical conversation. It's almost like I'm asking you a question and you're giving me an answer to that question. Kind of fun. Here's what you can do with someone at your house. See if you can come up with different patterns, almost like a conversation. You ask the question, make up a pattern, and they'll come up with a different pattern as the answer. See how many different patterns you can come up with just inside of your head. If you want to write them out eventually, you can. That's great. If you like to write them, go for it. But come up with them inside your head first. Don't write them first. Come up with them in your head, and then if you want to write them, you can, but you don't have to. The most important thing is that you're coming up with your own patterns using ta and toddy. So have fun creating and have fun making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So until next time, grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Stop.